see, five. Come on. Ooh, he's digging in my stuff. Ooh, he's digging in my stuff. Do it this way, Trey. I feel like I'm getting shot. Let go, let go. I feel like I'm getting shot in this bitch. Oh, Trey, you got me smart. Oh, shoot me. Dog. He's gonna let go at some point because he ain't got a good fight. Stan's doing a good job of pushing dogs up, but look, see that system? Hey! Hold on, hold on, you can keep getting in. Hey! In this case, what he should he normally go up and help us with the pile a little bit to get a better grip on there? Yeah, but like he's saying, if he's he's gonna have to hold him up to get it because if he tries to rebite, he's gonna lose it. Okay. Which is a good thing because he's actually working on his muscles there. Okay. Um, this isn't necessarily the best tool to work on bite development. Yeah. Because they're not getting full mouth bites. On it. Uh, this is more of a building a want to and a desire to do it. And then we can always, he's going to the, the end there because again, that's an easier bite for him. It's yeah. hanging down a little bit lower. Yeah. So it's cheating, but again, dogs are never gonna use more energy than they have to to get the desired result. Gotcha. So that one, that's a better bite though, correct? Yeah, that's a, that's a better bite there. If anything, you come and pull it down, and then when he rebites himself, then you let him work. Now mind you people, what I love about this is mind you why he's biting, that's 40 pounds he's holding in the air. That's 40, it's 40 pounds in here with the bag. We measured it out. We put it on the scale in another video. So he's never really winning <laughs> because he's always working. Yeah. So that's a win for me because I love a working dog. Second thing, if he needs to shoot, this is the gimp on the well. This, this, this whole shooting thing is for him, not me. Dogs having fun, the people enjoying it, that's all that matters. That's what, that's what it's about. Ow, hey, ow, ow. So I got the puppy in there, we got the old man in there. We got some stuff. We got, we got everybody cracking. Everybody having a good time. <laughs> not let go. Put it up when it's when all four feet are on the ground. I'll take it out of his mouth, redo it. He got five sets of this now. Mind you, the whole time he's working, the whole time he's working. So as he keeps shaking and pulling, he feels more confident as he gets off because he can stay. But he's like, All right, I can relax now. He does not like having any of his paws off the ground. You know, if you like you got a dog that don't like being on his back, especially if it's a dog that bites the kind of aggressive at times, you can't. He's like, Nah, bro, I don't belong on my back, and they ain't gonna let no dog pin him down. So the whole time he's trying to get his four feet on the ground. And once he does, then you'll see him like pause. Goes, his frame is there, and now we get the expansion, just build him out a little bit more. 
He said, holy shit, that's gonna be a beast. That's the goal. Yeah. And, and Tweet ain't gonna be the one taking bites. <laughs> that 70 pounds is different, boy. He get, that, he get to the ground a lot quicker. Yeah. Come on, Eagle, let's go. See how motivated he is, too, people? Look, when your dog's playing, you train him. He got another dog out. He didn't even trip off the dog. He wanted to get to that bike for him. Bad. <laughs> he like, I want to do what he doing. Great idea. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go get the garage scroll thing, a uh, garage thing too, especially as it gets heavier. To make sure he's not pulling the yanking, but keep in mind, how did I compensate for the spring pull thing? Because I put the weights in there. So he never actually comes down and deals with no shocking people. It's always something he's trying to balance it. When he, and he jumps up, it don't come straight down. And then he gets heavier, add more weight. So I like the X, that X dog drag bag from Toxic Scott. Gotta be creative, especially with these smart dogs. Yeah, because they figure stuff out quick. See his feet almost on the ground? He can pose the whole time, he's working. He's thinking about it, he's like, man, I've got more strength and stability here. So he pulls out, but he cannot pull. What do dogs do? They do. They push from here. When they tugging and pulling, they push from here. That's like literally doing a bench press. So the faster he get his four feet on the ground, the faster he can pause. Yeah. He got one right foot. So now he's resting. Now listen. But while he's resting, he's still holding. Look at how that 40 pound. That 40 pound bag is up off the ground. There you go. I'll give him one more jump. Once he touches the ground again, relaxes, and then I'll put him up. Out. Out. Hey. Out. Out. That's why we're working on people. <laughs> no, no, no. Last week, Stan was here. And DeMarco was too. His outs were good. But what happens when you take fucking three, four days off? Had no time? And I'll act like you don't know me. <laughs> no, act like you don't know who I am. But also, if they're working harder, they're not going to want to let go as well. So, he worked hard for that. So, he want to hold on to that prize. Mind you, whatever. Hold on. <laughs> Let's put him up real quick. Hold on, hold on. So, real quick, though. But what he was saying, though, is like, there was like a week ago he was actually working on his outs every single day every single day last week we go out that friday we go out that friday he's working with them out here he's telling them out we're out in the field over there he's telling them out and ego's letting go it's because he was working with them consistently for a week straight on his out this is stuff that you that he does a lot of behind the scenes you guys don't see a lot of this stuff i sometimes don't even see a lot of this stuff and i'm with them behind the scenes a lot of the time but the point is, is you gotta work with your dogs if you really want them to do what it is that you want them to do. Plain and simple, there's no way around it. He worked with his dog for a week straight, every single day, multiple times a day for that matter, to help work on his out. And then he went and he had to go do a bunch of stuff work-wise as, as far as shooting and all kinds of other things. And he was gone for about three, almost four days without working with his dog consistently. And what happened? Was shooting yesterday, and for him not even working with him three to four days, he lost the out command. So it is absolutely imperative that repetition, repetition, repetition is absolute key when you're doing anything to build your dog up, plain and simple. Whether it's you're teaching him how to sit, lay down, doesn't matter. And in this case, where he was teaching him out, he had, him, he had the out command pretty well, then he took the three, four days off. And then just like anything else, if you don't use it, you lose it. So as always, take care of your dog, people. Oh, so you want to end it? Oh, yeah, yeah. My bad. I'm good. You said you could get it. You're good. Oh, man. Come on, baby. Oh, we're not close. Close my first? Yeah. Press. There we go. What's new here? <laughs> you ready? Hey, listen, people. Iron Sharp K9 is the guy I work with to make better my dogs. When we get together, all our dogs get better. We get better as well because we're working through challenges, learning how our dogs are thinking, how we can improve ourselves, our dogs, communications with our dogs. Ego's back there dying. Now he's like, woo! Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take him, put him up, turn the air on, let him cool off. There you go. While we get those dogs, other dogs out, we're gonna put together a more interesting video <laughs> uh, with more effort. This is good, but this is just like for you guys to see what it looks like to yeah. really train and... It's that raw content, man. Raw, man. It's that raw. raw. It's that so, raw. So, what'd you think of this setup right here? Man, I like it. Like I said, I need to get me one of these at the house. 
I, ain't get, I just don't got no trees, man. So I'm gonna have to get like a metal thing and get somebody to build it. I wish I was handy, man. I wish I was damn handy. You can save a lot of money. And I just be looking like, huh, wonder how I could do this. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I be thinking. Wonder what that look like. I ain't got no trees in my yard. It's flat. <laughs> trees, man, they solve a problem. Get a couple spring pole ropes, mm -hmm. couple X dog uh, accoutrements. Fucking uh, a nice. That's a good word. A, a, a bike pillow right here. Next thing you know, your dogs being great people. Like, share, subscribe. Got questions about dog training, dog solutions, dog challenges, dog anything? Hit this man up. I focus more on the nutrition and I train be you know because I want my dogs to be you know better than average dogs. But you know this is a process and hopefully you're learning something from the things that we're doing. Stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. Yes, sir.